Well, hi everyone. We have a very unique opportunity for you to go and dig up your own dinosaurs. How would you like to dig up your own dinosaurs? Maybe a complete T-Rex, I don't know. But anyway, this is an opportunity for you. We're at the Creation Museum right now in the Dino Den. I thought it'd be a great place to talk about this trip coming up that you can participate in. And we have three special people here, Dr. Georgia Purdom and Dr. Jennifer Rivera. Uh, Dr. Purdom head, heads up our educational content uh, department. And we have Tommy here. You live in Montana. I live in Tennessee. We spend our summers in Montana. So you live in Montana sometimes, and you live in Tennessee other times? Yes. So, and, and you're a part of an organization called FACT. FACT. It's uh, kind of the overarching ministry for the foundation uh, for the Glendive Dinosaur and Fossil Museum up there in Glendive, Montana. So what's FACT stand for? Foundation Advancing Creation Truth. Oh, okay, so we're actually working together with FACT, mm -hmm. and Tommy is here because you, you live in Tennessee, sort of, otherwise you live in Montana. Yes. <laughs> and the Glendive Museum, tell us about the Glendive Museum real quickly. Well, it's a museum that started about 12 years ago. Uh, founder was Otis Klein. Uh, there was a, just a passion for taking people through a creationist perspective of dinosaurs, which is really obviously many of us from a child are interested in that and this gives us a way for people to come through and see dinosaurs on exhibit but also beyond that is to take people out on dinosaur digs to actually give them a hands-on paleontologist start to finish kind of experience okay so dr purdom and dr rivera are going to be there yes to go out and actually dig up dinosaurs i'm going to get pictures of this by the way uh, so uh, when they go there and this is an opportunity we have actually it's only a small number of people so if you want to reserve a place you need to do it very quickly mm -hmm. and we'll go through the costs and dates and it's in July uh, this year but uh, it's a very unique opportunity so this is the sort of thing you can dig up and you can take the bones home with you we want you to take stuff home but there are things that are helpful for what we're doing uh, for display, for research that we'll keep. So it kind of depends on what it is. Okay. If, you're t if you're digging up a T-Rex skull, you know, there's a it, good chance we're keeping you're it. Yeah, keeping that, yeah. <laughs> but what, what, this is a bone that you've dug up there, right? This is. This is a tibia from an Edmontosaur, which is a duckbill dinosaur. This would be the lower leg bone. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is probably in the size range or age range, a sub-adult. Uh, they get quite a bit bigger. These animals can be five to six tons and be 25, 30 feet long. So this is the sort of thing you can dig up out there. That is correct. Uh, so let me put that down and see what else you've got here. So they might find one of these. Mm -hmm. What is that? Looks That's like a vertebra, a thoracic mm -hmm. vertebra, uh, also from a, an Amontosaurus as well. The, this is missing off. There would be bones that would protrude up off the top and you've got this little groove right here. This is called the neural canal and you would have the spinal cord going through that, which is fascinating to think about that you can see evidences of how these animals lived and mm -hmm. functioned. Uh, and uh, that's interesting to be able to study these kinds of things. And it's not millions of years old. It is not millions of years old. In fact, okay. there's really nothing that we see in the ground that would indicate that. And didn't have a label on it or anything. It did not. The labels so they, were missing. When they dig up these bones, they won't find labels on them. They will not find okay. labels. And then this last one here. It's an ankylosaur uh, scoot, an osteoderm. That's what I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you were that close, were <laughs> no, you? I was. I was nearly going to say that, but what is it again? <laughs> osteoderm. <laughs> yes. Okay. So uh, these are the sorts of things you can dig mm -hmm. up. So you're going to be out there. Well, I will be and, out there. Uh, you're going to be a part of all this, sort of leading it mm -hmm. with... Uh, Jennifer and also Georgia. Right. So let me ask Jennifer and Georgia to give us some well details here. So when is this happening? Yes. How do people register for this? Mm -hmm. What does it cost? How do they get there? How long is it? How often do they have to dig up things? Can they do <laughs> other things as well? Yes. Um, should they go earlier or stay later? You, can you answer all those questions? Well, I know there's many wonderful things to do in the area, and I might let Tommy talk a little bit about that uh, when we're finished. But it is going to be July 25th through the 29th this summer. Uh, that is a Monday through a Friday. So the program actually begins Monday afternoon. So depending on how far away you live, you could fly in Monday morning. Uh, but I do know the closest airport is about 45 minutes. Is that correct from the location? 
The closest big airport's going to be about three hours. Yes. <laughs> I know we're flying into an airport that's about a three-hour drive from location. Yes. Uh, you can't take multiple flights and get to a closer airport. Uh, Unless they take a their private options. plane and go up there. Unless then you have a private plane. Then it's 45 plane. minutes. Yes. Other, yes, than exactly. that, other than that, it's three hours. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it starts Friday afternoon. I mean, I'm sorry, Monday afternoon, and then ends uh, Friday afternoon of that same week. Uh, we'll be going out to the Dick site, I believe, three times. Is that correct, during that time frame? And so a couple of those days while we're out there digging all day, you do provide lunch for us mm -hmm. uh, while we're out on the dig site. And on our website is a packing list because you do recommend certain types of clothing. Uh, and of course, like a research hat, we want to make sure we have shade uh, from the sun, uh, you know, suntan lotion, other things like that we'd highly recommend for this adventure because the temperatures, what would you expect them to be this summer? Uh, warmer than we're probably going to want. Uh <laughs> They usually, in this time period, can be 100, 105 degrees pretty easily, and it'll be dry, and you'll know it, and you'll feel it. So uh, protect your body as best you can with hats, long sleeves, lightweight materials, things like that. You know what? Right now, today, as we're doing this, it's 31 degrees in Kentucky, um, so I'd be happy with 100. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. I understand. <laughs> All right, so that, uh, and then we're also going to have some special speaking, so you kind of want to talk about what we're going to be speaking about? Oh. So um, Jennifer and I will be doing some speaking in the afternoons um, to talk to you about dinosaurs and paleontology and um, all those sorts of topics, too, that we talk about here at Answers in Genesis, just to give you, again, more of a perspective of what we're digging up, what the time frame is. Um, we'll probably, I love talking about dinosaur soft tissue because that's one of my favorite things um, to, again, show that the, there's no way these bones can be millions of years old. They have to just be thousands of years old. And so most of these bones, most of these dinosaurs would have been buried um, during the flood. And so um, I'm excited because I've never, um, I have dug up some fossils here locally, but we're talking like shells and stuff, right? We're not talking dinosaurs. So this is a really cool uh, first time for both of us to be able to be out there and do that. And we would just love for you to join us. I think it's going to be neat. And it is only for ages 12 and up, 12 and up, 12 and up because this is a little bit rigorous uh, for you. And so uh, we want to make sure that if you have children there, that they're old enough to be able to participate. Now, just so they understand, you can only take about 20 people. Yes. Correct. Yes. In, only the, 20 people. In mm -hmm. the group. So only 20 can come and there is a cost. Right. Now, that doesn't include your transport to get there, mm -hmm. your lodging while you're there, mm -hmm. most of your food right. while you're there, mm -hmm. uh, but it includes the cost. Mm -hmm. uh, it in includes going out to the dig, mm -hmm. all the uh, materials su supplied so you can do all the digging yeah. um, and all of that, uh, and then coming back to the museum and, mm -hmm. and being able to see all, all yeah. of that as well. And uh, so. Tell us what the cost is and how they register. So the cost is $1,150, and you can register on our website. You can go to creationmuseum.org, click on the Education tab. Uh, you will then click on the Explore program, and there you will see the, uh, that it's called the Authentic Dino Dig uh, registration. And on that page, You'll find all the information that we just talked about, as well as a uh, information sheet that Tommy has provided of things that you definitely want to pack for this adventure. All of that is available for you there, as well as uh, recommended lodging in the area uh, where we would like all of our guests to stay so it's easy for Tommy to come pick us up mm -hmm. and transport us uh, to all these special events that we're planning to do. So this is a unique opportunity. Not everyone gets opportunity to go to a place where there are dinosaur bones, to dig up bones, to be able to bring home some samples of dinosaur material you find that you let them bring home. Of course. <laughs> uh, and not only that, to have these experts there. So we have Dr. Purdom, Dr. Ribiri, you'll be able to spend, well, obviously one-on-one -on -one time with you guys, because mm -hmm. there's only 20 that can go per group. And then uh, with Tommy and also opportunity to visit that Glendive Museum. Mm -hmm. And I, I know I've seen some of the pictures. I want to go there myself. I've seen some Look of the pictures. It. it is spectacular mm -hmm. uh, and to see all the material that uh, you have there. So now, you know, if people want to make this sort of a vacation as well, they could come earlier. Are there other things to do in the area uh, if they come earlier or stay later? Well, there's, uh, there's Makoshika State Park that's right there close by in the area that's a beautiful, great vistas. 
Uh, you are within five to six hours if you want to do a little bit of driving to get into uh, Yellowstone, go that direction. You can go back east and you get into Theodore Roosevelt National Parks. So there's a lot of beautiful landscape to see in the area. So um, I think there's opportunities. If you choose to drive in, you're going to see some incredible landscapes as well. Uh, particularly for those of us who spend most of our time in the south or in the east or on this part of the, the, the world, there's some big sky country is a real thing mm -hmm. when you can see the vistas. And so I think there's just a beauty in God's creation that you can take in in that experience as well. So Jennifer, tell us again the dates. So the dates are July 25th through the 29th of this year, uh, Monday through Friday is the program. And all the information is on the website and there's mm -hmm. a, a checklist there as well, uh, what to bring, yep. uh, how to dress, and if they're coming just for that, they come in, get there on that Monday, and you do something Monday night with everybody. Yes, I believe the program starts about 3 p.m., is that three, correct? Yes. And then you'll go out and do digs in the morning and mm -hmm. other programming in the afternoon. Uh, through to Friday, and then Friday they leave. Mm -hmm. and so The it's program a, ends about 4 p.m. on Friday. So what a unique opportunity to go out digging dinosaur bones and to have you guys speaking and you sharing all sorts of things with them about the fossils that are there and, and the museum. This is a unique opportunity. Uh, so go to the website, and we'll get Jennifer to give you the uh, website address here again in a moment. Go to the website and have a look at all the information that's there. There's a cost per person uh, that does not include travel and lodging mm -hmm. and food, or they supply some food. Is that some right? Mm -hmm. yeah, Everything for, that's for, included is on our website. Everything included on the website. So where do they go? What website address? Yes, they go to creationmuseum.org, click on the Education tab, and then you want to click on the Explore tab, and that will take you to our landing page, as we call it, that has all of our upcoming Explore programs, and then you will see one that is titled Explore Authentic Dino Dig, and that's the one you want to uh, register for. So if I dug up something like this, would I be allowed to bring that home? Depends on how exquisite it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm just pondering that, because that's, you know, we have... It's interesting how often we have that question from mm -hmm. the little boys, can I keep it? Mm -hmm. We have that frequently. And, and so you do let them keep certain, We do let them keep So it's possible, notes. yes. Mm -hmm. One thing I would like to add that, that's part of this experience is the excavation is really fascinating, getting to mm -hmm. dig the bones out. But part of what we're doing is we're also taking people back to our fossil prep lab. Mm -hmm. And so you're not just just pulling something out of the ground, but we're actually giving an opportunity to clean up, to reassemble, to actually get down to the details, because none of these bones look like this coming out right, of the ground. Right, right, right. And so that's part of the experience, and wow, I think that, there's a real fascination yep. within that. I mean, part of it is really they're coming to help you find some bones for the museum, <laughs> right? Let's admit it, right? Well, they're, like, they're, we do uh, like that part. Yes. Exactly, because, I mean, it's your property and, mm -hmm. and you're able to do that. But you also let them take some samples home, and, which is fascinating. But then to learn how to prep those, too. Yes. That, I mean, so it's a dinosaur lab, really. Yes. Di and, a and fossil lab. A fossil lab. And so we've got uh, many jackhammers, many sandblasters, dental picks, uh, we've got uh, scraping tools, we got glues, I and mean, we will work with them to go through the procedure of assembling things. In other words, we charge them to come and work for you. Well, uh, that's not necessarily the way I prefer <laughs> to play as to say it. We're sharing the experience of discovering what God has created and buried in the ground, and we get to discover that together. Buried from the flood? Buried from the flood. So that... It's all from a creationist, biblical worldview. It is indeed. So, Dr. Purdom, real quickly, what sort of programs will you be doing? I know you're going to talk about dinosaur soft mm -hmm. tissue. What other things will you do? Yeah, we'll be talking about it too in the context of the flood and understanding the layers and why we find these things, where we find them. Um, so, yeah, those a lot of those kinds of things incorporated that we talk about here at Answers in Genesis, that we talk about at the Ark Encounter, where we talk in more detail what we talk about here in the in Dinosaur Den and just helping people understand that and the types of dinosaurs too that we fly, find there in that part of the country and just understanding it from a more holistic perspective. So you're going to have fun things too? Like, should I give you a couple of our Ark cribbage board so you can play cribbage at night or 
something like that. I do not play cribbage. So if anyone is interested in doing that, by all means, they can. Um, but um, we will not be doing that. No singing, no anything like no that. No singing? No. That, you don't want that. <laughs> Trust me, you don't want that. So. Okay, so <laughs> unique opportunity. You go out and dig up dinosaur bones, see a fossil lab, learn how they're prepped, get involved in doing that, see a great dinosaur museum, meet with Dr. Purdom and Dr. Rivera and Tommy, and learn from their expertise and wow this is i want to go now you you can yeah that's a great uh, idea one of these one of these times maybe i'll go but there's only 20 people i don't want to take away from someone who can go with you so. we would find room for you you would okay <laughs> <laughs> all right there we are uh, make sure jennifer one more time where do they go to find all the information on the creationmuseum.org website click on the education tab and then click on the explore tab make sure you do that fairly quickly because there's only 20 spaces available for this unique opportunity. Okay. Hey, thanks for being here. So, you know what? I'm going to dig up my dinosaur bone now. Oh, there we are. <laughs> Dug it up. Look at that. It, it's some sort of scoot. Yes. Do you remember what animal? Uh, it was a dinosaur. Yes. You are. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go, go and check out the dinosaur dig.